Okay, uh, my topic is going to be on uh, Apple's educational textbooks thing, uh, keynote address that they kind of put out today. Uh, to, to me, after going over all this, it, it looks very interesting. Uh, I mean, it, it's not necessarily, uh, you know, a hardware release or anything big like that, but it's to me, it's still uh, very interesting. Um, and what this has to do is... Um, they're releasing a new format, which is called iBooks 2, um, which is one. Um, iBook Author, which uh, allows a uh, book writer an easy way to write books, and especially interactive. And uh, they're also partnering with uh, McGraw-Hill, um, DK Publishing, and Hurricane Mufflin Harcourt. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, those are the three main, uh, the biggest publishers for textbooks for schools and colleges. And so I'm going to go over th uh, all three topics and, uh, or mini topics, however you want to say it. And now it's probably they're doing this, uh, you know, it's going to be put on iPads. Uh, eventually I'm guessing you can put it on iPhone as well. And we're, um, People are wondering how um, our school is going to condone the cost of the iPad, which are roughly $500 right now. How are they going to afford to do all this? Well, I think it's possible. Um, maybe not now, but somewhere in the future, you know, it possibly can be for most schools to do this um, because they're going to be selling books at uh, school textbooks for $14.99. $14.99 or less. So price-wise, it's going to be a lot cheaper. And uh, uh, educational discounts, that might be another one. I don't know if they really do uh, volume discounts for schools or not, but... And uh, uh, that takes away from shipping costs for hardbound textbooks. Um, it doesn't really take much for like 30 textbooks to start adding up on the shipping charges. Now, supposedly when the iPad 3 comes out, there is maybe a rumor that there's still going to be selling the iPad 2 if uh, for a lower price, perhaps. I'm not saying it's going to be. This is all rumor, but, you know, even around $300 price point, uh, perhaps another way schools can uh, implement it. So I think it is possible. Um, I don't think maybe right now it's going to take time. I'm guessing... Uh, three to five years, you know, you'll see more and more possibly high schools doing this, but we'll see. And some of the advantages of this is, um, oh, that's, that's for the next topic. I got like three or four pages of notes here. And, uh, okay, next thing they're coming out, uh, let me see. Uh, new Times update. Okay, this has to do with the new iBook 2 format. Uh, of course, they already have the iBook, which is mainly text books or text writing. Uh, now, this new iBooks 2 is going to implement text, photos, um, audio, video, multimedia, uh, desktop pre uh, presentations, uh, tables, and all kinds of things. So, uh, uh, students will be able to do more than one type of learning because some uh, you can learn some by reading. Some by watching, listening, those are all different forms of learning. I know I used to be an a instructor back in the day. And uh, now some of the advantage to the, to the uh, having ebooks or in particular the iBook 2 is lower price. Like I said, uh, $14.99 or lower. Uh, you can't re-download them if you have to um, from the iCloud. Um, you can highlight them just like a real book. They're going to have a, a feature where you can highlight certain sections like people do with physical bo uh, books. Um, you're going to have a lot, you're going to be able to get that book updated with newer revisions a whole lot faster before you, you know, the school probably keep the books for quite a long period of time before they buy new ones that have new information. So, Students will have faster access to new information, which is uh, great for them. Uh, you can search for keywords uh, in the book instead of looking through, 
you know, I don't know how many chapters, you just put the keywords and it'll take you to the different section of the book, which is great for finding information. And uh, let me see here. I've got some more notes. I'm trying to kind of decode them what I meant here. Now, this also, uh, with this pricing scheme now, uh, because right now, regular books, not even counting these new um, textbook for schools and colleges, uh, regular ebooks right now are kind of too expensive because if you look at my other video I made entirely about ebooks, the ebooks are the same or even more priced than regular hardbound books, hardbound or uh, paperback. And to, to me, that's not uh, really justifies the price because, um, you know, there's no printing fees, no shipping, no storage costs, any of that overhead. A lot of that overhead's gone. So that uh, the pricing scheme for regular books might actually get them to lower the price because they'll say, oh, look at Apple's, you know, their textbooks are, uh, you know, a lot lower price than our regular books. Like if you go to Amazon and everywhere else for their ebooks, and that has to really do with the publishers. Uh, they really take out a big chunk of that money. So maybe we're going to see lowering of ebook prices in general, hopefully from this, but you know, we'll see again. And uh, let me see, I think that is everything. Okay, well, one more thing. Um, they also released what's called iBook Author. And it's basically a free software program you can download uh, on your Mac computer. And it's for creating uh, the iBook 2 format, or you can probably put it, publish it in different formats as well. Uh, for full multimedia, audio, um, video, and which I uh, kind of already stated that already. And you can even publish it outside the iTunes store. Now, that's only if it's free. Now, if you want to charge money for the book, you have to do it with inside the, uh, the iTunes store itself. And I'm guessing they'll probably take the regular 30%. Uh, but it, to me, that's a good deal because at least you can publish it out. Like if you want to put it on your website, you not necessarily sell it or something. And uh, actually now, publishing ebooks, I've seen people without going through a publisher, um, some even caught on and uh, some even sold as many. Uh, uh, I think I think I seen in one recent newspaper article here locally, there's one person that sold them for. Um, I think they made like a couple hundred thousand dollars out of it, just self-publishing. So it's it's very possible. So uh, a lot of great things coming on the forefront for eBooks, um, the iBook 2 and uh, stuff like that. So uh, very interesting.